It's interesting because people often don't know exactly what, what this is. It's not an IT degree, not a degree in teaching. It is somewhere in between these two. It is kind of the, the, the place in between where we talk about, we talk about psychology, we talk about human behavior, we talk about how people interact with computers, and we talk about how people learn. Every day you're going to be learning something new. You're going to be talking about something new in this program. And then if you go into this kind of a career, every day people bring you new problems that you need to figure out the answers for. It's about learning the process of learning to some degree and, uh, and all the technologies that are available to help you in that process. You'll learn how to use some basic programs like Captivate or uh, Storyline. Or these are, these are um, programs that allow you to create uh, interactive learning modules where you can click on something, it'll give you some feedback, and then you can go on to the next answer depending on, on how you answered in the first one. Um, but that's just one of the tools that, that, that we use. Uh, more importantly, I think, you come away with a sense of why you use these tools and when you use these tools. Because the tools will, continue, will keep changing. It's never going to be the same tool in five years as it is right now. So focusing on a specific piece of technology isn't the key. It's learning how to learn and how to use this technology in the future and when to apply it. A career in using technology to enhance teaching, learning, and training. So the unique about the MIST program is that it teach what not only a student want to learn, but also teach the way the student will practice in the industry. So it's hybrid. The student can come on campus to meet with faculty, but all the material, all the learning is completely online. So when they learn in this material and learn in this degree, they are practicing their future career when they are learning. So our student, uh, they not only know how to produce the online state-of-the-art material for teaching and learning, they experience that during their 15 months in the program. Every week is a module. You have reading, you have online collaboration. Often you have to produce a media or solve a real problem. So our student, when they graduate, not only they have a set of uh, exam they have passed, they all have a portfolio say, okay, I can do this research, I can create this type of media, I can solve this problem, and I can write this proposal, and I can work with this team. So that gives them a powerful portfolio to start a career. Not only the science and technology of instruction, we also want them to have the passion that because the way we founded the program is with a strong belief that the teaching and learning define human beings. The entire human history is really based upon teaching and learning. We also look at the definition of our time is advance of technology, especially information technology. So we want the student to, to leave the program not only with solid skill, but with a passion and with the optimism that combine the advanced technology and with the human needs of teaching and learning, they can push this field, they can use their learning to make the world a better place. If you look at instructional science and technology degree uh, nationwide in the United States, it's mostly offered in the School of Education. However, uh, at CSUMB, we offer it through the School of Information Technology and Communication Design. So we have a lot more emphasis on technology component. So our students can do a lot more hands-on, even programming portion. So uh, when they graduate, they are not only become instructional designer, they also can become a developer, a producer. So thus, um, heavy component on uh, technology is what makes us uh, really different from other programs. They can emphasize on whether they would like to become more like a project manager type of instructional designer, or they can decide um, to be a teacher who is going to develop uh, own materials for their students to use. We even had dentists in this program who wanted to become more like a, a trainer instead of doing the dentist work all the time. We even had accountant in this program uh, who didn't want to do accounting work anymore but wanted to move uh, on to a trainer position.
And we, of course, had a lot of teachers, uh, K-12 teachers. They come to our program not only to get a master's degree program. Most importantly, they want to know what's going on with the cutting edge technologies and how they can bring those cutting edge technologies into their classroom and benefit their uh, students. Uh, we also um, had a professional um, media developers who come here to uh, learn the pedagogical component to how to put uh, an engaging course online. If you look at the new development in MOOCs nowadays, uh, a lot of professionals who have the skills of doing audio video production, but they may not have the knowledge of putting engaging uh, effective courses online. But there are a lot of need in this regard to produce uh, good courses and make those available online. So we are seeing more students who have a uh, good technology background coming into our program to become a well-round uh, instructional designer. Well, this degree is targeting uh, a very broad uh, audience. So for instance, we have K-12 teachers by the end of the program, K-12 teachers are going to be able to uh, improve the way that they are teaching in the uh, K-12 environment in elementary school. Uh, any kind of teacher, even higher, higher education teachers. So for any professor, for any teacher, uh, what they take away from the program is to be able to uh, implement this uh, learning, these skills into their teaching. Also for corpor corporations, for people who are interested in uh, working for corporations, they can work as uh, instructional designers for big companies. So they are going to be able to uh, create programs that can train uh, hundreds, thousands of people, uh, uh, not only in a specific place, but around the world, because part of the uh, technology that we use is online technologies. So with online technologies, you are not constrained to a specific physical space. You can develop technologies, you can develop uh, instructional processes that are uh, worldwide. The entire story starts with when this campus first opened back in 1995 and I came on board as the, one of the instructors for our basic technology course. And I taught that for a number of years and uh, eventually progressed into teaching other courses. And then, as I said, about 11 years ago, I believe it was, this concept of offering a course online and a master's degree, I was very interested. And so I came on board when it began in the 10th, 10 years ago, that first year, and um, eventually became more enamored of online teaching. Uh, I am all often thought of more of as a people person. I like face-to-face -face, uh, experiences, but when I learned that this version of this master's degree would be a blended version, where we could actually meet with and bond with those students at the beginning of the semester and then again at the end of the semester, I was, it became more appealing to me. And so I was more apt and interested in staying with it. And now I just teach strictly online and I've gotten quite accustomed to it and uh, enjoy it.